So what is the procedure to be followed? So the step one is you write down the invention, idea or concept. By the way, you can also get an idea patent. Idea patent and uh, some countries give idea patent. Some countries they say it is a provisional patent. Provisional patent is I have an idea, I do not have finance but I am trying to work on it. But, but give me some time by end of the year or end of two years, I will be able to convert my idea into a prototype. So at that point of time what you apply is always a provisional patent. Okay? And then you work on your idea, then you try to get it or you try to create and uh, you try to completely develop a product or a prototype whatever it is about the idea and then come, come to the, uh, fi then file your patent. So when you have to uh, patent registration, there are several steps and uh, the step one is write down the invention, idea or the concept with as much detail as possible first time, right. Collect all information about your invention such as area of invention, for example, mechanical engineering, description of the invention, what it does. So maybe it tries to give a relief, relief to a worker who is doing this. How does it work and advantages of your invention? Then call lab record duly signed with date by you and respect to authority. So what they say is, if at all you are trying to think of an idea of which you are trying to patent. Today what is happening, a data which is for you is also for a person sitting in China, people sitting in Japan and people sitting in USA. So it is always better what you do is you start maintaining a lab report or a lab, uh, lab sheet or a lab report. So what you do is every day when you start working, you first write down your idea and then you start writing every day progress. At the end of the day, you sign and also get an authority to sign at the bottom saying that this was done on this day. So if at all there are three people who are claiming that their their ideas, all the three have been working on the same idea and all the three are having to have a similar solution to the problem, then what the attorney, the patent office or the attorney looks at it is who is see who is senior amongst the three in terms of working and the document should be legally signed by authority only those things they consider and then try to give it. So that is why we always say try to have a lab record which is duly signed by you and by your authority or by your supervisor whatever it is. So here in which daily rec report has to be recorded which is very important when you start working for your PhD or for an even master thesis. Uh, or for a patent, you have to maintain a lab record. Okay. So then uh, step 2 is include all the drawings, diagrams, sketches explaining the working of the innovation. Drawings and diagrams, schematic diagram is fine, but if you can draw an engineering drawing that is excellent. Drawings and diagrams should be designed so as to explain the working of the invention in a better way with visual illustrations as much as possible. They play an important role in the patent application. Then so step 3 is check whether the invention is patentable subject matter. All inventions may not be patentable and interestingly, if you do not patent an idea and you still use that idea for producing a part, you have, you still own the rights for that particular product. For example, Pepsi has not patented their formula for making cool drinks. Why? Because once you make a patent, you hold rights for 25 years or 30 years depending upon the country and afterwards it becomes a public domain. For example, additive manufacturing, rapid prototyping, so many machines, 10 years before they were costing around a crore, today it has all come down to few lakhs and which were all few lakhs earlier, have the, the rapid prototyping machines today have come down to 50,000. And today if from Chinese market I can get a rapid prototyping machine, a small machine desktop type for 10,000 rupees. Since the patenting life is over, now it has come to public domain. All the drawings are freely available. Okay. So if you want, you can protect your idea and pat uh, protect your idea and you get a patent. 
if you don't want you don't patent you keep working on your idea and you keep producing up but nobody is asking going to ask you why have you not patented it but the only risk on you is if somebody patents it tomorrow that point of time you might have to fight for your legal uh, stand okay so check whether the invention is patentable subject matter so that means to say your idea whatever you say has to be clear and also try to see whether it is worth protecting their idea for example if you want to protect an idea i have come up with a screw it is already known it is there in the public domain see if you look at the screw driver innovation first thing was a minus head was there on a screw driver then it went to philips head that means to say plus then now what has happened is that plus head at that location itself they have started putting an led so led is very very hard hard material so you have a light exactly at the tip which has been patented idea for a screw driver okay all inventions may, may may be patentable as per indian patent act there are certain inventions that are not patentable so what is not patentable are those things which is going to really affect mankind a bomb a bacteria right which is going to kill man power that is not accepted okay patentable search so when you when i try to search literature so i would like to look at several uh, search engines which are available today us patent office is one there are several search engines available so you just go through that uh, search engine and try to find out what is the state of the art the next step would be finding out whether your invention meets all patentable criteria as per indian act it has to be novel the idea has to be new of its kind second thing the idea has to be non obvious to a person who is regularly using it for example the example of a screw driver which i told see minus was was initially the screw driver head they had so the screw also had uh, the head as as a minus sign then in order to have better gripping it became plus the idea was patented so they call it as philips uh, screw or philips screw driver so then people when they had a, a huge depth of uh, access so for example in a, in a desktop type computer the biggest problem is you always need a torch light attached with your screw driver so that you can exactly go at that point and do it so this minus then people started magnetizing the tip that was a third step and today they have integrated the light to the magnetic tip and around the screw driver uh, screw driver length there is an led which glows which tries to make the point visible so this idea of integrating light into a screw driver is new torch light is known a regular person needs a torch light to to screw or unscrew a, a depth access portion it's known so but he did not think of integrating these two fellows that is non obvious then it is industrial it has to have an industrial application it has to be a sale idea and it has to be enabling it has to it has to improve some efficiency okay the patentable options is provided by the patenting professionals up on conducting extensive research and forming patentable reports then decide whether to go ahead with patent once you have decided whether you are whatever invention comes novelty novelty non obvious industrial application and enabling i will tell you an interesting um, application recently i was going through see when when you see uh, people working on very tall structure tall structure banners maybe of a politician or maybe of a goddess so what these artists do is they try to climb up the um, up the banner which is around about 30 feet 60 feet high and uh, they try to take everything with them the, for example they try to take screws they try to take nails they try to take screw driver they try to take uh, hammer everything with them and uh, when they climb up they uh, they have they have to have uh, they have to be very cautious because if they lose stability they fall down so in order to avoid instability that means to say moving back and forth what they do is they try to take all the nails in their mouth that means to say they stuff a number of nails in their mouth and they keep climbing up 
and as and when they need a nail they pull out a nail from their mouth hit it and then keep moving so this is the pra practice which people do it so there was a young kid who came and said why don't i make a wrist band and put all these pins on the wrist band and as and when it is required he pulls it and then he takes it an innovative idea which has not been thought so that is not obvious okay so if you can come up with such thing so then that idea is worth patenting right so now after you decide yes it is worth an idea it has fulfilled all the four criteria now what i do i will try to go ahead with my patent so the patentable report and the opinion help you to decide whether to go ahead with the patent or not chances are chances are what you thought as novel might already been patented so that's why we try to do the state of the art right hence these reports save time effort and cost of the inventor by helping him decide whether to go ahead or not so that's why we do a patented search then we start writing the draft writing the draft of a patent is really really an art so we are we have professionals available for it so you go give your idea the professionals take the idea and start working on it and then try to give a solution in case you are at a very early stage in research and development for your invention then you can go for provisional application it gives following benefits secured filing date 12 months of time for file uh, completion specification and it is low cost after filing provisional application you secure the filing date which is very crucial in patenting world you get 12 months time that's what i said one year to come up with a complete specification upon expiring this 12 months your patent application will be abandoned so we are trying to talk about provisional application when you complete the required document and your research work is at a level where you can have prototypes and experimental results to prove your inventive step you can file complete specification patent so then publication of application upon filing the complete specification along with specification along with application for a patent the application is published after 18 months of the first filing so an early publication re request can be made along with a prescribed fee if you if you do not wish to wait till the expiry of 18 months from the date of filing for publication your patent application generally the patent application is published within a month from from the request of your early publication so here what we do is we put it in a public domain and then we ask and then we file and then you get it if you want to speed up you have to pay we have to pay more money and some justification request for examination the patent application is examined only after receiving the request from the examination that is rfv upon receiving this request the controller gives your patent application to the patent examiner who examines the patent application with different patentable criteria like patentable subject matter novelty non obvious innovative step industrial application and enabling and then he tries to the examiner gives yes a clear go ahead then you file a patent the examiner creates a first examination report to the patent application upon reviewing it for 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 about terms then it is called a patent prosecution everything happens to patent application before granting of the patent it before grant of the patent is generally called as patent prosecution then respond to objections if at all they have raised some objections then you the, the examiner has raised some objections there are the raised queries will come back to the inventor and then he has to work on it and then give solutions to it so majority of the patent applicants will receive some type of objection uh, based on the examiner report the best thing to do it analyze the examination report with patent professionals and create a response to the objection raised by the examination report this is a chance for an inventor to communicate his novelty over the prior art found in the examination report the invention and the patenting agent create and sends the response to the examination for example he would have said 20 queries would have been there so you try to make an excel file put serial number say this is the query what is your response you have to make it in a very professional manner and whatever response you have made you have to also incorporate it in your basic draft which will be resend to the examiner 
So, after all the objections are clear, the communication between the controller and the patent applicant is to ensure that all the objections raised by the patent applications are cleared. If you say 50 percent is cleared, 50 percent I could not, then they say sorry your pat you cannot patent your idea. Upon filling the patent application in order of grant, it is, gra it is grant to the patent applicant as early as possible. Then the last step is there is a grant of patent. So, the, the patent after going through is given a number and that number you will hold it as a patenting number for you. The grant patent is notified in the patent journal which is published time to time. So, like your journal publication here also they try to publish this uh, an article in one page or two page or they put it in a digital world. So, it is left in public domain saying that XYZ has patented this idea and this is what is the novelty in the idea wherein which it does not reveal more in depth description about what is what. For process patent, the procedure is the same as the above, but the, ch but the changes are prominent in, in drafting patent where the research will have to be done extensively while keeping in mind different norms that the process to be patent includes. According to the patent law, the product and process patent can come under the same category. What is advantage of owning a patent? You own the invention for a given time of 20 years, here in which if it is one country it is 20, 20 years, certain countries have 60 years, certain countries have 30 years, depending upon the country you go and, and do it. And interestingly, suppose you are an Indian, you want to apply a patent only in India, you get an Indian patent. You, if you spend money, you can also get an American patent for your idea, Sri Lankan patent for your idea or European patent for your idea, but you have to spend money, file and then move your idea in that, uh, in that area and try to protect your idea in that countries also. So, uh, so each country has their own patenting loss, so time, duration and other things. You can use it to build a business, rent it to an existing business. Exclude all the other using, selling, offering for sale and importing your invention in your country. You can completely sell the patent to any other country and on top of it, if you want, you also have the right to say, I do not want to sell my idea to this XYZ company, possible. One is giving right and you can also say, I hold the right, I do not want my idea to be sold to this XYZ. That time also your patent tries to give you protection. Here I have just put IIT Kanpur, uh, IIT Kanpur uh, procedure uh, for patent. So, an IPDF form is received by the IPR association. So, first uh, a faculty works on an idea. So, he have to submit an IPDF form and then his IPDF form is given to a committee where in which this committee is formed by dean or by some, uh, by some competing authority, competent authority they try to form a technical evaluation committee. Okay. Before this uh, report goes to technical evaluation committee, here we try to do a patent search and try to do a similarity index. So, an, uh, a patenting uh, inventor gives, then a similarity search is done by the office, then it is given to a TEC report, then the TEC committee evaluates the report and if they find yes, it is good, then it is further uh, progressed. If it is not good, then they stop it there and then say no, it is not worth patenting. So, here if a faculty member feels he has a wonderful idea, but he needs time, so he can directly go for a provisional patent and that idea can be patented, right. So, so then he can provisionally hold the idea. So, after uh, one year, the patenting, then this it need not go through the committee, he just files an idea. So, then but within one year he has to prove his patent. So, that point of time a TEC is appointed, they grow through it and then they say yes, then the committee reports the matter that yes, here is a wonderful idea which is to be done, uh, which is worth patenting. So, it is reported to the director, then director approves the idea, it goes for a, uh, it goes to the attorney for final filing and moment it is filed, the attorney gives the bill. So, this bill is given back to the institute for processing and every year you have to sign, you have to shell out money for holding 
your patent or for servicing your patent every year we have to pay money and moment you stopped paying that money for your servicing of patent then the patent the, the attorney or the patenting office will not try to protect that idea on your name. So, first is you have to pay fees for getting a patent, then every year you have to give a maintenance charge for this patent to protect it on your name for a stipulated time of 20, 25 years. So, after this is done, so you see all the series of steps are done and then finally, it goes to the evaluation. So, a request for the examination for or the patent. So, then he gives a response, the response are work and then finally, a patent is granted. So, you see amenity fee payment initially for 10 years, further amenity payment is made on the basis of commercialization. So, here what we have done is we have said 20 years is the time which you can hold. So, we have divided into 10 years and 10 years. The first 10 years institute, institute pays money for, for servicing your patent and the once it has finished 10 years, then we see whether it is worth for commercialization. If it is not worth for commercialization, the institute withdraws and this idea will no more be protected by the patenting authority. Okay, a task for student. So, I would give you a problem statement. You can think of it uh, to come with solutions. So, what is that? I would like to have a tea cup. which is foldable or collapsible ok collapsible such that it does not occupy space while moving. The teacup material should withstand, withstand high temperature like whatever is the tea temperature it has to withstand that. Then the teacup which is which is foldable must be leak proof watertight and the tea cup must have some uh, some figure or something figure or some picture which changes when when I view from varying direction and the tea cup color should reveal the temperature. So, look at it, I have drafted all sorts of problem statements. So, what I want you guys is look forward or think of a tea cup and try to make a tea cup, try to make a tea cup, a prototype of it. Maybe you can use it uh, a paper or carton box or a clay or plaster of Paris, try to make it and try to in integrate all these points which I have told ok. And then you will understand now you have come up with a creative idea whether it is worth for patenting or not. When you are when you come up with your idea then what you do is you go to Google search and then just type whatever uh, tea cup foldable tea cup or whatever it is and see how similar is your idea or is your idea completely different. And whatever teacup you generate, it is a design patent. See, if you can make a design patent and if you can get a design patent out of this course, I would be really happy to see a success of this course and nothing much better than that. So, with that, I come to an end of this lecture. Thank you very much.